Kendra, how you doing? Hello. Merry Christmas. Man, that's a bright light in my back. Hang on. Where is that? I'm going to fix it. Got my jammers on. See him? Ah, God, that's hot. Cool. That about burnt the poo out of me. Speaking of Vincy Poo. God, that's about dark. Oh, I just turned it off. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. Kendra, how you doing? It's a cold up in Boston. Hello. Somebody's decorating their tree tonight, I heard. So I thought I would just come on and chestnuts roasting. Oh, on an open fire. That's ugly. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Yuletide carols being sung by a choir. And folks. Dressed up like Eskimos. Everybody knows a turkey and some mistletoe. I agree. Help to make the season right. Tiny tots with their eyes all aglow. Find it hard to sleep tonight. They know that Santa's on his way. He's loaded lots of toys and goodies on his sleigh. Every mother's child hmm, is going to spy. I don't know all these chords. <laughs> See a frame, they really know how to fly. <laughs> so I'm offering the simple phrase from kids from one to ninety two. And although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas. Uh, uh, huh. Merry Christmas. Huh. Merry Christmas. Oh, we should do this chorus. Hello. How are you feeling? You're not a Grinch. It's too early for me, honestly. It's, it's, I'm not, you know. Oh, I'm sorry, Crystal. Just hear the slave of us, we're gonna ding, 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 too. I don't know any of this. I'll be with first slave, I'm together with you. The star of snow is falling, friends are falling. Hmm. I don't know where that one goes. My hair, my hair is a mess. I don't care. Oh, hey Bob, how are you doing, buddy? Slow it down. Is that better? Just hear those statements. Ah. Oh. We're praying, Bob. Mm -mm. So what's everybody doing tonight on this lovely whatever it is? Can I put that up a little bit? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, definitely, Bob. No, I don't think so. This is it. I'm not frosting no tips. When you get this. Your frosting days are over, Frosty. I'm going to wash that gray right out of my hair. I'm going 
<laughs> no. It's too late for all that. I need to trim up a little bit anyway. I'm kind of scruffy. Hello, Karen. How are you doing? Good to see you tonight. It's been a while. Uh, let's see. I don't know Christmas songs. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I hate Christmas songs. I hate playing them. Ah, uh, okay. Well, at least you're rescheduled. We'll miss you at Christmas, but glad you're still coming. Trying to solve the murder of my child, KC. Kendra, I'm lost. Help me. Murder of my child, Casey. That's... Yeah, I did. Oh, I saw. I didn't get to watch all those videos. I saw some of them. I understand. I get it. I didn't think it was. I said I love Christmas songs. I hate playing Christmas songs because they all are really hard to play, to be honest. They really, really are. Well, a little bit for a second. But I knew it had to do with the videos that I saw. I just hadn't got to watch it. It's been so busy. I've been so busy. <laughs> no, Kendra. Listen, if something that serious had happened, I knew I'd have found out by now. I'd heard from Facebook or something. So I knew you were you were joking about something. It's okay. Uh, that's an easy one. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun is to ride in a one horse open slip. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey, that do the snow in a one horse open sleigh. Or the fields we go, laughing all the way. That's an easy one. Silent Night, Away in a Manger, those are pretty easy. But some of the carols and stuff, man, they just, they're just they too hard to play. I play them once a year. Even my favorite one is, my favorite Christmas song of all time is, um, Oh, holy night, stars are brightly shine. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Well, on lay the world in sin and error pine. I don't care, Larry. Till he appears. This is so felt this worth stupid chords, too. But I love the song. A thrill of hope. The weary world rejoices for yonder grace. A new and glorious morn. Will fall, will on your knees. Oh, hear the angel voices. Oh, night divine. I'm not really singing it much. Oh, night when. Christ was born. It's my father's favorite. Oh, night. Hey, yes, let us know. In divine. Oh, night. Oh, holy night. Yes, I remember this. I really can't stay. I gotta go away. Yeah, I know. I love it too, Kim. I'm so mad that they're trying to. I'm actually angry that Kelly Clarkson and um, Johnny John Legend recorded a re-recorded a version. I don't know if it's even been released yet. Intel just posted a vlog, uh, mini golf vlog. Um, I don't know if it's been released yet, but they recorded a. Don't offend me version, and I'm offended. I'm offended that they don't offend me version. There you go. 
I agree. I agree. Hey, keep feeling better. Get better. Get your family better. And um, good night. I agree, Kendra. But baby, it's cold outside. Baby, it's cold outside. Open the view. I actually have two computers sitting here in front of me. Kind of stupid tonight. I think Dollywood opens this weekend. They start their Christmas season this weekend. They close down Saturday, and they're back up Saturday for Christmas. I'm sure we'll get up there soon enough. Okay, are you going to open? So what's the temperature, Kendra? I know you said it was cold and rainy. We've actually been pretty cold here. Well, for November, I guess. It's been... Last four nights have been below freezing. Not deep freeze, like 30s, but I think Friday it's supposed to be in the 24. Which is pretty cold. For us, anyway. Open already. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to do this for a second here while y'all. Mm-mm-mm-mm. I'm back. Right. <laughs> you just um you just nailed it. I mean that that's great uh commentary. So that's offensive, but you can say so much stuff that I hear on the radio, whether it's innuendo or whether it's words, I mean words, and it's like so that's offensive, but that's not. I don't understand. I don't understand. The world we live in. Too bad we don't run the world. Mm -hmm. Well, Frosty, the snowman, was long as he could be. It's easy if you know the words. Oh, yeah. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I love Christmas music. I hate playing it. But I'll tell you what, I love Christmas music. I love all the classics. My mom and dad, I still have the album. There's this, I don't, it's in the other room, but these albums that I used to wear out at Christmas time, we used to have an old record player in the front room, in this house, in the front room, and I remember just playing those records over and over and over, and I loved them. So, yeah. I, but I'm with you, Kendra. I'll wait till after Thanksgiving to start listening to my Christmas music. Then I'll start listening to it. I don't know what this computer is. Come on. Stop. Stop being stubborn. <laughs> you know, I don't disagree. I, I was listening to um, Dean Martin's daughter talk about that song because he did it, you know, and um, he didn't write it, but obviously he did it a lot. And um, just what the meaning behind it was. I know it was a different day and age, but you have to look at it that it was a different day and age. And the way it was written, it was written in a playful mood and just having fun and flirtatious and I don't know, whatever. Whatever. And everybody gets their panties in the water. Dean Martin was the man. I love Dean Martin stuff. I was just kind of, I get on these YouTube kicks when I get ready for bed. I go in there. I usually get on my phone and you know how YouTube is. You get caught into it and you get deeper and deeper. And you started out looking at who knows what. And by the end, you're looking at dogs running in the yard. I don't know. It's crazy. But I, I get on these little kicks and Dean Martin was mine just a couple of weeks ago and watching some of his stuff and some of his, I was watching a lot of his interviews with Johnny Carson and um, 
some of the old stuff, some of his roasts, some of his show even. Um, and it's just, <laughs> he was something else. And so I was watching um, Jonathan Winters. Was, it still is one of my favorite old comics, uh, my wife's too. And um, I was watching a bunch of Jonathan Winters stuff. And of course, Jonathan Winters was on a ton of the Dean Roast, uh, Dean Martin Roast, you know. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, Joey Bishop, Frankie, all those guys. Um, yeah, it was really cool watching some of that. Just It's just, they just had a blast. Don Rickles, who, who offended everybody. I mean, it didn't matter who you were. You're going to get offended. So he didn't care. At least he spread it around. Oh, okay. That's fine. No problem. We'll take the horses for the bully for a little love for our road. Me and my wife were just talking the other day about uh, a Christmas story, the movie, and one of my favorite scenes is when they the the turkey gets on the floor and the Bubba's his dogs come and eat it, and um, then they have to go to the Chinese restaurant for Christmas dinner. And they're going, deck the heart with bars of fiery, fa ra 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 No, 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 no. You sing something different. Jingle bear, jingle bear. He says, go to the kitchen, go to the kitchen. Uh, it's one of my favorite. It's one of my favorite. That would even be, you know, that, that couldn't be released today. Good thing it's been released and they just keep playing. And I love how TBS or whatever does 24-7 of that. Uh, that part. fa ra 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 No, 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 no. Sing new song. Jingle bear. Doesn't go well. Yes, my favorite. Pumpuses. Uh, I gotta watch that at least one time a year. At least that and Christmas Vacation. Certain movies around this time of year that you have that's just mandatory watch. What's your mandatory? You that are on still on here with me. What's your mandatory watch movies this time of year? I gotta hear. I'd say my two Christmas Vacation. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, it's hilarious, or duck, or whatever it is. Ooh, yes. You know what, Kendra, really interesting story. All my years, and I haven't ever watched that completely through, and I actually, um, my former pastor, they had a big celebration for him at his church here locally, and asked me to come back and do worship and speak, and the whole thing was about Around a Wonderful Life, and about some of the quotes in there, and um, it's one of his favorite movies, and so I finally sat down and watched the entire movie, and um, I know, I know, but I watched it now. I sat down and I went through the entire movie and um, it's so good. There's so much good stuff in it. I mean, it's to me, it's more than a Christmas movie. I know it's Christmas because it's it's around that time and blah, blah, blah. But so much good stuff in that movie. Good lessons, good life lessons in that movie. And so I watched pieces of it. It's not like I haven't seen it, but I've never sat down and watched the entire movie. And so I sat down and watched it and, it's good. I'll, I'll probably watch that this season as well. Yeah, those are those are at least my two mandatory watches. Um, yes, it's tremendously, and that's what. Like, I was trying to take some. The message I spoke was only about twenty minutes that morning, but I was trying to take some notes on some of the quotes and some of the things about his life, and and um, I literally had two or three pages full of stuff. I had to I had to work hard to pare it down into something that was 20 minutes worth of message because it was like, man, there's so much here. So really good stuff. Uh, I tell you what I love because of some of the quotes in it. And even though sometimes I don't like him that much and sometimes I do is uh, the Grinch, the one Jim Carrey did because some of the stuff he does. Yes. Famous line from that one. Uh, the Grinch with Jim Carrey because he, he acts so well in that one. There's other movies I could care less for him in, but man, some of the stuff, there's a couple of times when, what would I wear? <laughs> I, just, I just, uh, five o'clock wallowing self pity six o'clock. I can't cancel that again. <laughs> it just kills me. It kills me. Some of the stuff. Oh, yeah, I know. Hysterical, and I still love the. You know, I grew up on the on the animated, the old animated one, animated, yes, animated one, and still love that one. And um, but that was a good remake, really, really good. The cringe, the cringe is hysterical. I knew what you meant. Uh, so yeah, I usually will end up watching that one somewhere down the line when it comes on. Um, I'm trying to think what else. 
I don't, I'm not really a fan of Christmas. Is it Christmas comes to 34th Street or what's the? Can't think of the one where they don't think he's Santa and they take him to court. Y'all know the one I'm talking about. It's an older movie. It's always on at some point, but I don't think I've ever really sat down and watched it completely through. It was not before Christmas with the clock. Kendra, help me with that one. Is that is that in the grants or no? Oh yeah. Good. As long as I don't tear into my time with y'all, I'm fine with it. Kidding. Whatever. That's great. I'd love to meet him. Um, and I'm really uh, nostalgic on some of the, some, you know, the stuff I grew up on, like Rudolph. I mean, I may not watch it completely through, but it has to be on the TV at some point so I can see the abominable snowman. They used to be scared to death of the, the abominable, abominable blah, 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 snowman. Just scared to death thing. And my, my nephew was at one time, too. Of course, he's 16 now. He's not anymore. But I loved Rudolph and, of course, Frosty. Um, those classics, those are those are movies that I have to at least be on the TV at some point. Like if I pass by them during the Christmas time, I'll turn them on, and even if I'm busy. Oh, Leslie still, man. Leslie got down on her back, and she got better. And today she called me, and she messed it up again. And so not as bad as it was, but... Of course, she lifted something, and I said, honey, you can't be doing that. No, um, you have to catch them. Um, it feels like, you know, they're usually on, but just catch them at the right time. Um, although, I will say, it feels like they still put those in good time slots. Now, I don't know what days I've been seeing them on, but it seems like they still put them in prime slots, so to speak. Although, they probably get played multiple times on multiple stations during Christmas time, but... You're right. They're not not as many on as used to be. Yeah, no, I just can't get into all the Hallmark Christmas movies. I'm sorry. For one thing, some of the acting is just oh man, it, it makes me regurgitate a little bit. Like there was a there was a commercial the other day for one that's coming up, and um, oh Christmas specials, yes. Andy Williams Christmas special. There's some stuff that I really musically that I love. And some of the, even some of the newer ones, some of the ones that are hosted by some of the country artists are pretty good. Um, you know, well-produced. They're overproduced almost for me because it's just, I, they, it's, it, I bet, I bet, I bet uh, shooting one of those, we see it perfected. And I bet they do those songs three or four times. And I know that, I know the Disney Christmas parade is not filmed anywhere near Disney and they shoot, shoot those shots over and over to get them perfect and so much production that goes into it and that's why we enjoy it because we watch it it's all perfect but phew, you know like i do it's it's not that easy so um but the, the hallmark stuff i just can't do i can't do it so what i was saying was there's a commercial on for one just the other day and i just i was like Bleh! it just terrible terrible leslie has been watching this show called eureka and it's the acting on it. I can't watch it. I don't care what the plot of it is because the acting is terrible. I keep telling her, but she's addicted to it. She's walking, watching it on Amazon Prime. I can't watch it with her. I'm like, honey, this acting is the most terrible acting I've ever seen. But, yeah. So do you stay, do you stay home for Christmas, Kendra? Or do you go to some, I mean, like, are you go out of town? Are you home? I don't even know. There's still seven people on us with us. I don't know who I'm talking to. I know Lily and Karen were still here a little bit ago. Yeah. Well, they're all the same secret. Like they're all side. <laughs> right. You're right. It's the same plot every time. Yeah. This year's going to be so different. I'm actually going out of town this year. I have never, ever, ever been gone from home for Christmas. And, you know, it's a little different. My parents aren't here. And um, Leslie's mom, she's going to go with us. But I can't say that I'm super excited about it. Um, I'm going to do it because the family asked us to. But And then I just told, uh, man, we were on a live stream or something the other day. 
Oh, I was on um, Big Joe Malia. Malia was on her midday live stream, and I mentioned that we're actually going to go out for Thanksgiving this year to Pigeon Forge. We're going to go to Paula Deen's, and it's just the way it's all working out. No, Orlando. Orlando. I'm not going to Disney while I'm there. It's too busy. I know. I just something about being home for Christmas. But yeah, we're go they're going to a they're taking the boys, my nephews to Orlando, and they said everybody come down. We'll pay. We got a big enough house and everything. And I don't know. I'm not excited about it. And Disney's my favorite place, but I'm not going to Disney at that time because you're talking about literally it would be um, 23rd to 24th, the 25th, or the 26th. I'm not going any of those days because it'll be madness, madness. So I don't know. We're gonna do it so we can be together as family. And then the whole Thanksgiving thing has got me a little. I, I don't. I don't like it either. Um, not that we won't eat well, but I don't know. Of, I've never. I've been away for Thanksgiving before, but I've never not eaten a home cooked meal at somebody's house. Something about it. And um, we're not doing it this year, so whatever. Things change. I'm okay. I don't want to be those old farts that say, "Oh, he's not the same as he used to be." It's okay. Oh, <laughs> am I gonna get a? Am I gonna get a build a bear? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she's gonna take me in there and get me a get me a build a bear. Oh. Well, that's good. That'll be like our home Christmas with you guys because Christmas ain't gonna be the same. We're gonna be traveling. That's another thing too. Literally, I'm gonna do Sunday morning service. We're gonna drive halfway that evening, then get there Monday. We'll drive the rest of the way because it's ten hours, and then stay Monday half a day, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then drive back. <laughs> Sorry, Bab. Then drive back probably half a day Friday. I, I, it's hard because of Leslie's mom. She just doesn't do well on really long trips. And so we really got to split it up. So <sighs> deep breaths. We'll make it. It's okay. I agree. And th you know what, Kendra? That's why we're going. If it wasn't for them already going to be down there, um, we wouldn't go. Um, but <laughs> I bet she is. But this is the second Christmas without uh, Leslie's father, her mother, you know, Nancy's dad, uh, Nancy's husband. And so she didn't, she, when they told her they weren't going to be here, she did not take it well. She wants to be with family and I don't blame her um, talking about my mother-in-law. And so honestly, if, if, if it wasn't for her really wanting to be down there, we probably wouldn't go, but we'll go. We'll go and smile. Have a good time. I love being around family. It's not bad. It's just, I don't want to travel. So the Thanksgiving thing actually might be kind of, it's going to be, I'm not totally um, not looking forward to that because my brother's going to have some stuff at his house and probably can sneak up there and spend some family time. But um, Paula Deans will be fun and we're going to be at the Island and it'll be different. It's, it's not going to be terrible. It'll be a different Thanksgiving and I can handle that. So, well, I'm, you know what? I've never been to Paula Deans. This is my first time there. We'll Thanksgiving. But I looked at the menu. It looks great. I just know you got to get there early and get your name in. I get it. Yeah, Kendra. Absolutely. My mom and dad have been gone for quite a while, so I've been there. But this is only a second Christmas without you know, Leslie's mom, Nancy's husband. And um, to be without, to not be with family, Nancy wasn't happy. She was like, she told us she's going. If she has to fly down there, if she has to get like, she can't drive, but she was, you know, oh, I bet you ate good. Um, so anyway, that's what we're doing. How about you, Karen? If you're still around, you didn't answer. You stay home. Do you go out for Christmas, Thanksgiving? Lily, you still here? I know we don't have many left. We're just hanging out. Is Ron still around? Because, you know, we used to have, we don't have any anymore. There was one up there off 66, just as you came into Pigeon Forge. There was one in Maryville. They're gone. The only thing I know of buffet anymore is Golden Corral. And if I go to Golden Corral, I have to sit on the Golden Throne for quite a while because Golden Corral just messes with my stomach. I like it while I'm there, but I'm like, you, let's go. But it's not kind to me. Um, huh, so they're still around. But the, the two here didn't make it. That's for sure. I hear you. So obviously, daughter, that's at home. Are you saying, Karen? And then Christmas, you don't know. One good thing about Christmas around here, and it may sound bad. Yeah, that's good. One thing about Christmas here is me and Leslie aren't, we're not, different couples do different things. And we're not big on gifts for each other. We just aren't. 
I mean, I think the last time we gave gifts to each other um, was probably before we got married. And then we just, we're with each other. We love each other. We don't have to get each other something. So that takes pressure off. Usually we get it, you know, we get something for the boys. Um, <laughs> we just don't have to spend a lot of money and it's kind of nice. And so even this year, the boys really aren't expecting anything from us because we're going to Orlando and spend some money, but I'm sure we'll do something. Take them somewhere down there and spend some money on them. I love spending money on them when I can. So, from um, where, Larry? I'm not catching you. <laughs> yeah, no, the Golden Corral makes you sit on the Golden Throat. Oh, I can't remember. The last time I was at Golden Crow was on a Sunday afternoon. Some uh, lady in our church wanted to take us out and took us there. And I, it was great, but I'm sure I paid a dear price for eating there. Uh, it'd be worse now because I'm not really eating that way anymore. And so it would be double trouble with the, the way they process their food and what they use. And then the fact that my stomach would be like, what are you doing? But I would enjoy it. <laughs> so I love the smorgasbord of all the food. So and Paula, Paula Deans is family style, right? So is it all you can, is it all you can eat, or is it? I know they bring like, their their Thanksgiving menu is pretty well set. They bring all of it to your table, I think. That what I read. Um, I tell you, oh Bowling Green, I tell you who else had Thanksgiving dinner if we didn't go to Paula Deans, Larry and Leslie, because you took me there, was the Old Time Pottery Cafe, you know. Oh, Karen, that sounds good actually. Huh. Yeah, we don't have that here. That's interesting. Yeah, the only Golden Corral, and there's a buffet right as you come into Pigeon Ford called the Wood Fire, the Wood, Wood, Wood something, something right there next to the Wax Museum. And, um, but I've, that actually used to be the Great American steak buffet or something, and it's not anymore. Hey, Kendra, glad you came. Stay uh, stay dry, stay warm, and I'm sure we'll talk at you soon. Hope you find your murdered, <laughs> your whoever did the murder of your beaver there. Enjoy. Yeah, Larry, we talked about it, but everybody was had their, we were looking for alternatives and we couldn't get into Paula Deans because the thing about Paula's that day is you've got to get there. Like they start taking names at 930. There's no reservations. You get there at 930. The only thing I get nervous about that <laughs> <laughs> yes, Kendra. The only thing that makes me nervous. Um, ah, interesting. Um, the only thing that makes me nervous about Paula Deans is I don't want to get there and put our name in at 930 and then eat at 1030. I mean, I, I just, I don't know how I feel about, I, I'm nervous we're going to Get the, I know it's going to be crowded, so I'm nervous we're going to get there, put her name in, and they're call us at 11 o'clock or 10.30 to eat dinner or eat Thanksgiving meal, and it's going to be 10.30. But I don't want to get there at 11 and not eat till 4. I don't know. But it's going to be what it's going to be. I'm pretty much said I'm not going to eat dinner the night before and no breakfast. <laughs> so I'm starving when we get there because I'm going to eat that day, and we'll see where it goes. So because that's we were all talking about what if we get there and – I don't know, but the Pottery House Cafe was no alternative, yes. But everybody had their heart set on Paula Dean, so that's fine with me. Um, okay, you mentioned that, Karen. It's, it's just a funny story, and I just was talking to somebody about it the other day. I, uh, in Destin and in Myrtle Beach, we ate at Lulu's. Um, uh, Buffett, uh, why can't I think of his name? Jimmy Buffett, Jimmy Buffett's sister, Lulu Buffett. But I, when I saw the place, I'm like, why? This place is called Lulu's Buffet. That's what I thought it was. And I couldn't figure out why it wasn't a buffet because I read it as Lulu's Buffet. So I ate there two or three times, didn't know that. And finally, somebody said, no, you realize that's Jimmy Buffett's sister, Lulu. Anyway, I just could not figure out why Lulu's Buffet wasn't a buffet. But now I know, by the way, it's a great place to eat. <laughs> and uh, that's why I've eaten there a few times. 
but I mean, it was, I, I don't know why I couldn't put that together. It's themed, you know, Caribbean style and, and just all outdoors. And uh, it's not that great. Not great on me because I'm an idiot. Um, but the theming and the food is really good. And I can't, why could I not put that together with Margaritaville and Jimmy Buffett's place and Luther Buffett's place? And I don't know. But all I knew is it was not a buffet and it was false advertising, even though it was good. And now you know. Oh. How's the tree coming? Claudia Sanders did her house. That's interesting. So that's our holiday plans. And um, that's it. I've got to get together our Christmas service. Um, I've been asked to do, we did a version of uh, Little Drummer Boy a couple years ago with some uh, couple of marching drums on stage, and it was a lot of fun. I've been asked to do that again, so I think we'll try to pull that together. Um, and then I, I want to do something really traditional this year. It's close. Um, I thought about pulling the drums out of the cage this year, a lot of, a lot of acoustic set, and... Um, Doing almost, I think we're going to title this year a Fuse Family Christmas. And so I thought about even making the stage like a little living room set and um, just doing, um, Hondra is preaching that day and he said, let's let's have a Christmas like we remember. I'm like, I don't know what that means. Christmas like we remember, I bet, Kentucky. Expensive thoroughbreds, I bet, too. <laughs> so I got to start working on that soon enough, put some things together. Make sure we got all that ready, which again, I love Christmas music, but I hate playing it. Singing it, I'm fine with singing it. I hate playing it because none of it's normal. None of it's normal. So that'll be on my plan list soon to get that done because we have our Christmas service. Hello, Susan. How are you doing? We're just kind of hanging out. Thanks for stopping in. Thought about you today. We're talking Christmas plans and what we're all doing and Larry and Leslie are putting up Christmas tree and Karen's talking about buffets, buffets and uh, Colonel's. Hey, Melissa, the Colonel's uh, wife's place, Claudia Sanders dinner house. Talking about going out for Thanksgiving, catching y'all up. I bet. I know that, you know, we just got a second dog and by the time anything happens to one of them, I know the other's going to hate it. The last dog we lost was just one dog. It's the only dog we had. So <clears throat> I'm sure she's looking for a friend. I no, I can't do Chinese food buffets. I'll be real rude here. If I do a Chinese food buffet, I just take my plate straight to the bathroom because I can't, my, my stomach cannot handle. I love Chinese food, but my stomach cannot handle Chinese food. No, it, it absolutely. As soon as I start with three or four bites, it's like we're done. No. So, that's it. After a little hole in a while, you're going to be like, mm, is this chicken? No. Or is it not chicken? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> See, he likes his goose or duck or whatever it is. Melissa, how are you tonight? <laughs> I'm sure. How long were they together, Susan? How long have they been in the same house? Wow. Yeah, that's a long time to be together, for sure. Y'all make me think about something I want to look for here. Sorry, I'm click on, clicking on this other computer beside me. Oh, got to spell it right. I don't see it. I don't see it anywhere. That actually could be somewhere else. I'm yawning, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm yawning on y'all. 
it feels like it's midnight. It's 8.45. It's time change. I don't understand how the time change can mess me up so bad. And it does. It's just an hour. But it messes with me. It messes with the dogs. They're up early. I don't like it. Enough of this time change. Yes, you need to, Susan. Can't take, I, we have a dog that loves to ride and a dog that hates it, so they don't ride very often. What were you trying to get, Karen? Anything in particular? We went to, I uh, had to buy, I'm doing a wedding in a couple of weeks and had to buy a suit and um, we caught coals just right because I hate, you know, I don't wear suits and I hate to buy one because I'm literally going to wear it one time, but literally had to buy a suit, tie, shirt, everything but a pair of shoes I had. And uh, so we caught coals at a really good sale. Still, you know, 250 bucks. And it's like, I'm going to wear that one time. One time. Ah, I bet there was nothing left. We went to our Halloween spirit store here or something looking for some stuff and it was, there was nothing in it. Takes time, Susan. Um, I'm with you guys. I'm looking for something here. I'll look right up here. Yeah, there, there was nothing over there. I mean, literally, it was extremely sad. <laughs> extremely sad. And of course, we went to Walmart a little late too. I was looking for some stuff for our 90s party we did. And yeah, come decorate mine too, please. Oh, I heard that. I got phones on the left, computers on the right. I'm trying to think if that, um, if I've still got that drummer boy video, I don't know if it's in here, but I don't see it. If I find that video, I'll post it. It's not the greatest because it was just from somebody's phone, but. It was fun. I need to see that video again anyway, because I need to figure out what we did and duplicate what we did. <laughs> Make it easy on us. Hello, Cindy. How are you doing? Welcome. Just hanging out for a few minutes. Nothing big. I played one Christmas song and quit. I'm not ready yet. That's Karen. That's, when I said that, it's exactly what I was thinking. Phones to the left, me computers to the right, and I'm stuck in the middle. Yep. <laughs> hey, hey. See, phone to the left. I'm texting back. Sophia, there you go. It is, Susan. I thought about that the other day. I was thinking about some things and got a lot of great friends here, but got a lot of great friends with you all, too. And speaking of snow, I saw that there was a chance for flurries. This was it, Susan, was it Friday? I know it's going to be cold Friday. I may have been wrong seeing a flurry chance. I mean, it won't be any snow to speak of, but you know, I don't want premium. Mm -hmm. No, no snow, but it's going to be 44 and 27 Friday. It's going to be chilly. Yeah, there's not much rain in the next couple weeks, 15-day forecast. But cold, Tuesday, 41 and 21. Woo! I'm doing great. 
been busy. How are you? That's why I got on tonight. It was, I knew Leslie and Larry were decorating and thought, man, let's just get on and hang out with my friends, with all of y'all. I figure Indiana was. Oh, Karen. No. Although, if we get to 21, we might have some of those. If that was 21 on, let's see when that was. 21 on Tuesday. We may have some of those below 20 wind chills. 5 to 10. Good chance. That's just too cold. It's one thing about losing weight. I am. I get cold easy now. Although I've actually been warm today, but today's been what? Susan, 63 today. It was it was nice outside. I was outside for a little bit. <laughs> Excuse me, this afternoon, and it was nice. I saw where adventures. Um, Janet John had snow. Minus two. I don't have any words for that. No words. I haven't got to watch all of your Matt Mary video yet. I've got into it, had to get back out of it, and got back into it, and got back out of it. I've been so covered up. So I'm going to finish it, and then when I do, I will comment. Um, but I've just got to watch pieces of it so far. I'll get it finished. I have one coat. It's too big. I, I need to get another one. Oh, well. I feel the same way, Cindy. And I like my coat. It's a, one of those fluffy coats, but... It's, it's way big. I've been on two hikes and didn't vlog on one of them. And it would have been two hikes that nobody's vlogged. It wasn't in the Smoky Mountains. It was here in Knoxville. And um, really pretty. We did uh, seven miles Saturday and we did eight miles Monday. Yesterday. So we did seven miles and then eight miles. And um, it was cool. One of them said we did a, the seven mile island eight miles and it was uh it's at a um bird sanctuary and um saw a deer saw a buck one buck uh, was limping and then we got really close to him because he he acted like he was really hurt he was limping really bad but um my buddy tried to get a closer picture and he took off so i was glad to see him take off i was worried about him not that you can do anything i mean nature's got to take its course but you know <sighs> Yes, but I've kind of surprised myself. I've enjoyed it, and it's not been my, – my legs have been a little tired. Um, the one Saturday was quite a bit up and down. The one Monday, it was out in fields. This this bird sanctuary is out in fields, and so they have a lot of paths mowed through them. And so it wasn't real bad. Uh, we did go up to the top of this one mountain. It's pretty ugly, a lot, of, a lot of huffing and puffing going up there. But um, I'm going to start hiking more. I, I really enjoy it, and it's good exercise, and it's uh, – just for this next season of my life and the, some of the responsibility that I'm going to have, I, uh, I have to do something to uh, release stress. And so hiking for me is it. And um, my buddy Jojo, who you guys know I talk about a lot, you've seen him on some of my videos, one of my worship leaders and main musicians at church with me, uh, his dad hikes. And um, I've always, it's interesting, I've always felt like me and his dad uh we'd have a great friendship. We've always been friends, but we've never been really close. And I've always felt something. Uh, I don't know, just somebody I feel like I want to get close to. And, um, and so we've been, it's interesting. He's, he, we've been hiking three or four times. There's one, there's a hike in Damascus, Virginia, uh, with some ponies there, um, wild ponies out there. It's 12 miles. And so we might do it next week. But like you just said, Cindy, um, we're worried about the cool crisp air. You know, you got to dress warm. We've been, I, I've been uh, wearing long johns under some hiking pants and I've got a pair of good hiking, Merrill hiking shoes. And um, it was chilly every time we've been so far. The hike I did the Indian Flat Falls wasn't bad, but the two I didn't vlog. So shame on me for not vlogging. Try not to vlog the same ones everybody else vlogs. I'm trying to. It does. It is. It's nice. I'd rather it be cool than hot. Um, but I need to start vlogging some of these hikes that I know not many people are vlogging. Um, not the normal ones. So. I just downloaded a couple of hiking apps today, look at some places and 
thought I might go one more time this week, but I'd be going by myself, so I don't want to do anything long by myself. We probably we won't decorate till Christmas or the day after. Typically, that's when we decorate is the day after because we don't go shopping. <laughs> no, we stay right here. He's frosting the he's frosting the tips of the Christmas tree is what he's doing. We know what he's doing. White frost. Yeah, Cindy, um, we've got a great fire pit out here. I just, in fact, I was almost going to do that today. So I need to, I need to do another couple of fires. Got plenty of wood out there. Yeah, there's something about it, Susan. It's relaxing, you know, and just like I, the, the comment I made on your hike the other day about the creek, it's so relaxing. I get it, Karen. Actually, I'm just, it doesn't bother me. For, I'm glad it doesn't bother me. But I mean, now, if I'm, if I'm, um, if my cardio's up, my heart rate's up, I don't like breathing in cold air. But as far as just, we don't keep the house that warm. I don't like it that warm. And I run a fan at night. And so on those cold nights, it's about, I don't know, 60 in here. And that's not terribly cold, but chilly. And with a fan going, it's cold. Of course, I turn it up once we get up. No, totally to keep frosting those tips. We need some white, white frost on those tips. I hear Ollie in there losing his mind over something. I don't know if y'all can hear that back there. He's not now, but he was going out. Uh, yes, I have to sleep in a cool room. Yeah, I, you know, <laughs> that's one thing I like about this weather. Uh, it was, I don't know why it got hot in here, but we were doing something. It was hot in this house and it was nice to just get a couple windows open and man, it came down fast. And, um, yeah, we definitely, we definitely need to do a couple more fires and it's still okay to do that. You know, even with it, that's almost, even shoot fifties in the day. I can, yeah, I can do a fire for sure. We're going to have some chilly days, 41, 38. There he goes. I don't know what he's on to out there, but, he is losing it. Maybe I should show him. He's gotten bigger. Yes, we have a, my brother, when he moved from my house a few years ago, there was these huge stones outside. And um, before he moved, I went and uh, took the truck. I uh, had a truck, access to a truck and loaded it up in order to make a big fire pit outside. Funny story about that. I was in shorts and a short sleeve t-shirt and did not realize that there was poison oak. It was winter, but there was poison. Well, it was it fallish, probably something like that. It was still a little bit warm outside, but it, it had come out of the heat. And there was all kind of poison oak all in those big stones. And I was covered it from head to toe. But hey, I got a nice fire pit out of it. And so, yeah, we've got a big one outside. And um, we usually have some people over and hang out and burn a fire. It's nice. Then my brother has a wood splitter. So I've got some dead trees we've taken down in the backyard. And so we cut those up, split them, and got a couple of stacks out there. It's one thing I wish we had in here. I wish I had a fireplace in here or a wood burning stove, but we don't. All right. I'm coming back. Y'all get to see my jammies. I got my jammies on. Hey, come here. Where you at? Come here. Let's say hi to everybody. Come on. Okay, kids. I'm back. Slam jamma. Catch him back up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Sorry, Mom. Yes. You know, I could do that. You know what, Karen? I could do that. The only problem with that is, well, I could actually take my laptop out and still get Wi-Fi out there. Uh, yes, it is, Melissa. This is, um, we have um, our Malty Palm. Um, the, the, this one is new, uh, May 25th, and he is full Maltese. And um, I love how you knew right away. Um, so, yeah, Karen, I can actually do that because I can get enough strength out of this one. If I do it from my phone, I have to use that. Um, it's an app. And you guys, when I've used it before, you guys tell me sometimes I get on it and it makes all this noise and whatever. He is, but he, you guys know, you guys that saw him, 
you guys have seen him. He's gotten, he's a chunk. I'm telling you. And he's not fat. He's just chunky, man. He, I mean, he's a, he's a, uh, he's a stout little boy. Aren't you buddy? Huh? He has. I mean, he really has. What's interesting is Sophie's bigger than him, but they weigh about the same. And so he's just a, he's a wide body, even though he's not, he's not fat. He just, he's just a, a stout one. Yeah. So this is a, we have Sophie, he's the multi palm and this is Ollie. He's the male, but he's not going to be a male very long because November 12th, he going to get fixed. He's starting to, he's starting to pee everywhere. Look at him. No, Cindy. Well, yes, 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 yes. Yes, you can tell that they, uh, Sophie doesn't like to be away from him. If, you know, she used to go downstairs all the time to Nanny's apartment, but now Sophie won't go down there very long. She'll go down and come right back up. She's got to find out what he's doing, although he's starting to go down now by himself. Um, <laughs> um, so, yes, yes, they get along, but they... They don't fight. They play all the time. Sophie gets tired of him, you know. But he's something. He still can't jump on the couch. He's not big enough. Funny question, but do they have spotted cow spots on their mouth? Like tongue or inside their um, – I don't know. I've never noticed that. Now, I've noticed spots once while on their belly, but I, I don't think that's um, – I can do that, Cindy. Yeah, Karen mentioned it definitely. Um, I'll do that next couple. Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, it'll be a few evenings away, but I'll do it. Um, well, I don't know. You know what? He is registered. Well, he can be registered. We know his breeders. We're not going to register him because we don't care. But tell me where exactly, Melissa? Just inside, like his lip. He can go let me look in his mouth. He's like, you get away from my face. I can't see anyway. Yeah, shits, these are cute. Okay, I'll look. Um, you know, it's funny. Even if I found out he wasn't pure anymore at this point, we wouldn't get rid of him. But we got his papers with him and everything that we could register him. But we're not going to breed him. We're going to fix him. And boy, he's about to go to sleep right there. Look, look at his eyes. Yeah, we had um, Cowboy was a Maltese we had for 16 years. Then he passed away. And then about six months later, we got Sophie. And Sophie's three, just over three. And then this, he was born May 25th. Cindy, good to see you. Have a great night. And we'll do some fireside. Yeah, we'll do something outside. It'll be dark and spooky. We'll tell ghost stories, I guess. And I'll get scared and have to come inside. But we can definitely do that. Oh, you're being so quiet. He just got his first puppy cut too, which he didn't get much. Just got it out of his face and had a little bath. I love our groomers. They're so great. They take such good care of my doggies. And I was worried about him because Sophie, she, when, when we take Sophie, she just bragged on her. Like, so she's an angel. And I'm like, well, this ain't going to be no angel. And she bragged on him. He was so good. I wonder if she's lying to me. I don't know. But, Well, I guess I'll just sit back and put you up here and let you sit with me for a minute because you're being all, all chillaxed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but he wouldn't keep it on long. He'd be ripping it off. Trust me. We did get him a, unless he's a, from Pittsburgh, so I got him a, a Steelers collar. <laughs> and he did great with it. I thought when I put it on him, he's going to go crazy. He don't care. He's good with it. So now we can take them out together and let them do their business outside. And this one, man, as soon as he hits the outside, he goes crazy. Just run and scream and <sighs> uh, let me see. I don't know if I can play. I don't know what. Uh, I don't know what key that is. Should have been Mary, did you know? your baby boy someday walk on water Mary did you know 
fix your baby save our sons and daughters did you know <laughs> that your baby boy has come to make things new this child that you deliver will soon deliver you Mary did you know Blind will see, the deaf will hear, the lame will live again. Out of the words. That's close. That's all you get. So, look. He, he went to, oh, sorry. Went to sleep on me. So, there you go. It's a little bit. I really could vlog that one sometime. Might as well start vlogging some Christmas music. Write it down. Man, I love um, Kenny Rogers and Winona. Their version of that is really good. Yeah, he's just hanging out. I'm writing down a couple songs here. Um. Man, this computer on this side is, is seeing better days. Oh, yeah. He's done. About his bedtime. Hey, Pitbull. I know, Karen. Mary, did you know that your baby boy will someday walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby, <laughs> your baby boy has come to make things new? This child that you deliver will soon deliver you. Mary, did you know that your baby boy gives sight to the blind man? Mary, did you know that your baby boy will calm the storm with his hand? Did you know that your baby boy has walked where angels try? When you kiss your little baby, will you kiss the face of God? Mary, did you know? anyway done that's it finished that reminds me of um, another song you know another Christmas song in a minor key which I like oh yeah Well, that wasn't my plan there, but that is. Well, this, this is Christ, the King, shepherds, God, and the angels sing. Haste, haste to bring him down, the very the son of man. That's not the one I was thinking of. Ah, 
Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel. And ransom captive is Israel. I love that song. That mourns and lowly exiled here. Mm -hmm. Till the Son of God appears. Rejoice, rejoice. Emmanuel, shall come to me, O Hey, Melissa, have a good night. Thanks for stopping in. Stay warm. Dios, Dios, Dios. This is all, that's not even in English. I can't read any of that. Oh, forgive me for yawning on you. Get to slam this. Got to do everything three times to get this computer to work over here. Don't know what the Lord is come. Don't like the first Noel. Sorry if you do. Your boy's my favorite. I do like Silent Night. We always do candlelight. Candlelight. Well, we do our Christmas service. We always do the end with candlelight and the lights all down, singing a couple of Christmas songs. And it's my one of my favorite, favorite, favorite moments of the year. And uh, we're going to do it again. Well, we do it every year. We'll do it again this year. And it says, it is wonderful. Oh, come all you people. Obviously, I'm looking at Christmas songs now. Jinger bear. Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. Oh, little town of Bethlehem. Y'all got quiet on me. Good King. I, Good King Winchesters. Good King Winchester. Hark the hill angels. The holly and the ivy. Mmm, Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Come home for our house Christmas Eve. You may say there's no such thing as Santa, but as for me and Grandpa, we believe. she been drinking too much eggnog, I know this, and we begged her not to go. She forgot her medication, and she staggered out the door into the snow. When we found her Christmas morning at the scene of the attack, she had hook marks on her forehead and incriminating claw marks on her back. Oh, Grandma got run over by a reindeer walking home from our house Christmas Eve. Oh, you may say there's no such thing as Santa, but as for me and Grandma, we, our Grandpa, we believe. Uh, now the goose is on the table, and the pudding made of fake. And the blue and silver candles that would have matched the hair in Grandma's wig. Now we're all so proud of Grandpa. He's been taking it so well. Sitting in there watching football, drinking beer, playing cards, Uncle. See? And we only have one question. See, I know all that song. It's kind of sad that I do too. Don't know half these other songs, but I know all that one. <sighs> Used to sing this song <clears throat> to a track on tape. Come on, ring those bells. Come on, ring those bells like the Christmas tree. Terrible. Ding dong, merrily on high. I'm no. Uh, let's go that down. Well, jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell, bell, jingle bell, sweet and jingle bell ring. Snowing and blowing and bushels of fun. Now the jingle hop has begun. Well, jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell. 
Chimes and jingle bell time. Dancing and prancing in, in the frosty air. What a bright time is the right time. Oh, I can play that one. Well, to watch the night away. Jingle bell time is a swell time to go riding in a one horse sleigh. Interesting. Yeah, I ain't gonna try that one. There's a bunch of stuff on this page. Oh, my dad used to love this one. Uh, let's see. Jolly old St. Nicholas, we knew you this way. Don't you tell a single soul what I'm going to say. Well, Christmas Eve is coming soon. Now, you dear old man, whisper what you'll bring to me. Tell me if you can. And they don't, they don't give the words that. Huh, that's interesting. Have yourself a merry little. Mm, okay. Yeah, Pitbull, we were talking about that one earlier. Maybe it's cold outside and we were angry. Me and uh, Kendra were angry that they've made it a terrible song. And, you know, uh, is it John Legend and Kelly Clarkson just remade it with a more politically correct uh, words and um, I won't, I'm offended by that one. That's how I feel about it. So sorry, if I offended you. Forgive me. Yeah, that's good. Uh, uh, let's see. Will now come. They told me, but I'm a bum bum. A newborn king to see, but I'm a bum bum. I have no gifts to bring, but I'm a bum bum. So, yeah, that's one we'll do. We'll do a whole drum section probably on our Christmas service with that. It'll be fun. I need to find that video. It's I don't think it's in my phone. I don't know where it's at. Huh? Oh. Uh, yeah, the Whitney Houston version, sure. I don't know if I know the Whitney Houston version. I probably have heard it, but I need to hear it. Yeah. I'm ready to go to Dollywood and get in the Christmas spirit, even though I won't be playing any more Christmas till. Well, if I do a couple of these, I'm fine. Is he still back there? Yeah. Oh, you resting. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ollie. <laughs> oh, man. Silver Bell. Silver bells, it's Christmas time in the city. Ring, hear them ring. Soon it will be Christmas Day. City sidewalks, busy sidewalks, dressed in holiday style. In the air, there's a feeling of Christmas. People laughing, children passing, something smile after smile, and on every 
Street corner, I don't know the words, but you might hear. Silver and gold. I can also well, who used to sing that? Um wasn't Orson Welles. Who used to sing that? Um Silver. And I always hear that for some reason when I think of that song, I always think about Rudolph. I don't know why. God, I guess one of those guys narrates the original Rudolph. And so who was that? It's not Orson Welles. It's not who I'm thinking of. Yeah, it is too. Ah, oh, wish I could spell. Oh, hey, that's another movie I didn't. I failed to mention, and usually I have to watch it because it was a. Uh, it was my father's favorite. We watch it together every year, but it's a Christmas Carol. But it's the one with um, George C. Scott playing Scrooge, and it's my favorite. And um, he, George C. Scott is such yeah, Burl Ives. Thank you, uh, <laughs> um, George C. Scott playing Scrooge, and he is such a good actor. And he did so good. And it's funny, I can almost I can't quote the whole movie, but there's a lot of quotes uh, in that movie. Um, and so I love that version of A Christmas Carol. So that's another one about every year we have to watch. Burl Ives, yes. Unique voice. Have a holly jolly Christmas. That's, it comes up immediately. <laughs> it's the best time of the year. I don't know if there'll be snow, but have a cup of cheer. Uh, so that would be here. Nah, wasn't there. Anyway. Okay, I'm leaving. I've been on for over an hour. I didn't plan on being that long. I don't ever plan on being that long. The Christmas tree is decorated, and I'm going to break. So I'm sure I will see you guys again. Uh, Karen and Cindy mentioned some fireside chats, so maybe we'll have to do that sometime in the next week or so when it's not too cold, but cold enough. So it's great to see you all tonight. Have a great week. And uh, I'm sure I'll talk with you soon. Might block a couple of these Christmas songs this week. Get everybody in the mood. You are welcome, Mr. Harvey. And uh, I'll see you guys soon, actually. So um, enjoy your week and um, have a good one. See you guys. <laughs>